Carissa Pavlika, TV fanatic. Hi, Carissa. So I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of travel logs with buddies. And I'm wondering, Sam, how did Men in Kilts come about? Yes. Um, well, I, I think both of us had had an idea to create a TV show about um, about the Highlanders, about Scottish culture. I, I obviously had seen from Outlander the, the enthusiasm and uh, interest in Scotland. And then Graham and I were chatting in, in Los Angeles over a, a, a cafe latte and a beer. And um, yeah, we realized that we both had a, a similar interest. And from there, you know, we decided, could we do a podcast? We want to create some IP around it. And then I quickly realized, you know, we had all the, the access to a great crew and, and great locations in Scotland. And why not? why not do this for ourselves? So we shot uh, over a number of weekends in Scotland, we shot a sort of pilot uh, series or pilot episode, which um, thankfully Stars and Sony loved and, and picked up. Graham, I thought maybe you were being punished for something you had done in the past for having to spend all that time in a van with Sam. Yes, yes, sometimes you, I did feel like, obviously I'd done something in a past life that was putting me <laughs> in this kind of hostage situation. Uh, right. But it was um, it was actually really a very, very, very enjoyable trip and one that uh, because it was unscripted, uh, it was able to have a real spontaneity to it when we were actually out on the road. And so when we were encountering those guests, uh, the audience are encountering them with us. So it's uh, so there was no there was apart from we knew their names, there was no prep. We would just arrive and we would start talking. And I, I loved that about making the show. I really did. Yeah. And, and Sam, what's more exciting for you? Is it showing the fans Scotland or is it going out there and learning something new that maybe you didn't even know about Scotland? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. I mean, I think, you know, I think just the excitement every day of creating our own TV show, but also not knowing what's going to happen it really is enjoyable to me. I think. Um, just going out there and exploring and meeting these characters and seeing the scenery, um, you know, as, as Graham said, it is, it is totally unscripted. You know, we knew who we were going to meet and where we were going, but apart from that, um, we were kind of left to our own devices. And I think just um, that spontaneity and that um, mm -hmm. creativity really was very rewarding for us. And hopefully, you know, people enjoy coming along on the ride with us as well. And Graham, the competition between you two kind of unfolds surprisingly. Everything that you do, it's, it's a competitive nature. Did you build that in or was it just the natural progression? Uh, you know, um, Sam is very competitive. Uh, anybody who knows him will tell you this. And uh, I'm, I am competitive. Uh, you know, I like to I like to win at things if I can, but I'm not uh, I'm not that bothered if I if I don't. But it gave me I have to say enormous pleasure to beat Sam in in those events. I was um, childishly uh, pleased. He well, was desperate. He was desperate to beat me, and and he says he's not competitive. I mean, if I have something, he has to have it, and and it was just so fun <laughs> to, to to have this. Uh, this little bet and uh, obviously you know the the outcome was unfortunate um i let him win obviously because i was <laughs> for a swim yeah. i was gonna say yeah did you let him win just for the fans so that they have something to of look course. forward to absolutely of course of course <laughs> and i i was in need of a bath anyway so um it was yeah. was that Definitely. cold i assume oh, it's very um, cold water very I mean, you know, normally when people go in the North Sea, uh, they're wearing a, a thick wetsuit. Um, you know, the next stop is um, Greenland or Antarctica, uh, the Arctic. So uh, it, it is, it's freezing cold. It is very, very cold. And um, he made me go in there longer than I should have. Yes, I made sure the tide was out so that he had further to go. It was. Yes. Yeah. And now that you've yeah, conquered thanks. Scotland, are you gonna do more of Scotland or have you considered perhaps other locations? Yeah, we'd love to do, I mean, definitely there's a lot more to do in Scotland, uh, mm. but the Scottish influence abroad, uh, America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, even, oh. even Brazil, uh, those are places that, um, that have a huge Scottish presence and um, have their own stories to tell. In, yep. in relation to the Scottish experience. So yeah, we would love to do that. It just depends if we can cycle that far, really. You see, there are, we, yes, on a tandem to Canada, 
No. Mm, it's a long way, isn't it? Yeah. It is a long way when when the person on the back isn't pedaling. What about a pet? What about a pedalo? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you haven't pedals. suggested that before, actually. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to get one, but uh, they were, none of them were seaworthy. So. A pedalo. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate talking with you. I can't wait for people to see it. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, Krista. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.